Okay, so um, California has been getting hit by some crazy storms and this inverter has the ability to act as a UPS or uninterruptible power supply. So given the situation and all the power outages uh, and the massive amounts of cloud cover, I decided that for the time being, I'd like this to run in UPS mode. However, we have a break in the storm for about five or six hours and I was wondering if there's enough light out there in, during this break to actually go back to solar mode and make good use of the solar power that's available without running my batteries down. I want to basically run directly off the panels. So then the question comes to mind, well, how can I calculate that without just flipping the system on? And the system is on right now. So the question was, can I figure this out without flipping the system on, using only like a multimeter and my cell phone. Turns out all I needed was the cell phone and a calculator and to know what the math is. So a little bit of Googling, a little hunting, and a few quick conversions, and the answer is actually quite simple. You can download a Lux meter app. It measures the light availability. It's in with the camera functions. Professional photographers use these devices all the time, and your cell phone is a fairly capable device as far as that goes. Maybe not the most accurate, but certainly good enough. So download yourself a Lux app, take a measurement, make sure that you're holding the phone at approximately the same uh, direction and tilt as your panels, if you want to know what your panels potential uh, you know, would be. And at that point, you'll take that reading. In fact, the app that I downloaded takes an average, so I could let it run for 20 seconds or so, just hold it steady as I can, Whatever that average number is, I need to multiply it by 0 0.0079. 0 0.0079. So in doing that, then I get a approximate watts per meter squared. Now I just need to know how many square meters of panels I have. Mine are six foot by three foot. So another quick Google search leads me to uh, six feet being, I think it was 1.8 meters, and three feet being 0.91 meters. So multiply those out, and then I have my next number. I know approximately how many square meters each of my panels are. Then I multiply that by the 21 panels that I have. And in my case, that brings me really close to, I think it was 35 square meters. And I can multiply that by my uh, my other number, which uh, in my case was around 45, and I can figure out that 5,800 lumens equates to having about 1,600 watts available with my current situation. And knowing that, I came out, turned everything on to regular solar provide me power mode, and sure enough, uh, my batteries are maintaining 100% status and as things are being turned on and off in the house, I've been uh, watching, I've turned on a few things for fun, treadmill and other things in the house uh, that are high draw just to see what would happen. And sure enough, I am using nothing but solar. So uh, it was just a fun little experiment and I have added a tab on my shared uh, spreadsheet so that you can have all the math spelled out right there for a quick and easy reference. Anyway, I hope that was something interesting to you. It was definitely interesting to me.